in this video I'm gonna show you how to solder an EC5 connector our subject car is the new Armor Creighton 4S is really cool but it has these two connectors that are IC5 with a dual pack connector and adapter which is pretty useless for a 4S uh, and the key here is to have the right tools I'm no expert soldering person and I've had three or four really poor jobs at this and if I can do it you can do it too and the, and the key is have the right tools and the right technique so the most important one is the soldering iron on the right I'm using an old weller you can pick these up from eBay uh, these go to 850 degrees Fahrenheit uh, the next one I would say important is the the black carbon fiber holder right there soldering is all about being able to apply pressure and transfer heat so you need a holder for your wires or your connectors uh, next thing is a soldering paste uh, in the white uh, a soldering cleaner of a wire loom and then a nice pair of clippers and of course we need some high quality solder something that you're used to something that heats up and transfers heat and there's our connector right there all right are you ready So first what we're going to do is cut our connectors. We're going to prep our wires. So a lot of extra wire here, really unnecessary for a 4S vehicle. Uh, pardon the, my angles uh, using a camera and uh, puts it in an awkward position, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So cutting the wires. The IC5 is compatible to the EC5, but it's not as good a connector and there's an extra wire in the middle there uh, for smart technology we don't need that so just strip both wires and now here's where the the holder really comes in handy so the bullet connector of the EC5 you need to secure down uh, so this holder is perfect made especially specifically for this purpose where you can just press down on it uh, and then it's good to have surfaces where you, the wires can reach each other so uh, next is to put some soldering paste into the wires and I'm going to use the wires to put some paste in the bullet connectors so the purpose of the paste is to make sure the solder adheres to the surfaces and here we go the iron is heated enough I'm using a high temperature because there's no electronic components anyway that are at risk here. You have to be careful with temperature whenever you are close to the motor or ESC. So the main technique here, first on the soldering iron, have a nice tip, meaning a wide tip for the job. Don't get those pencil tips. Uh, those are only for fine work. Uh, this thing, you need, some, you need to transfer heat. So I'm transferring heat to the bolt connector and now I am pushing the solder in so it will go into the middle of the bullet connector you have to be very careful not to spill it outside because that will if there's solder outside of the connector it will prevent it from locking into place later on so fill it about you know halfway full a third full and then you also have to pretend your wires so it'd be better if i had a holder for the wires but I, I felt this is good enough i can i can do this job even if these wires are loose awkward angles but we'll get this done so to pre tin the wires the first thing you need to do uh, is heat up the the wire first and then once it's properly heated then you you push the the solder in to the wire the wire and the uh, the iron another technique uh, that's important is when you have a fresh soldering iron uh, put some solder on it 
thin it a little bit, get get some liquid on it, and that will allow it to transfer heat. A completely dry iron is not really good at transferring heat. And as you will see, it's all about transferring heat quickly. So here I do a test fit, make sure it fits. And what we do here is we melt the inside solder, heat up that bullet connector, give it a few seconds. Once it's properly liquefied, then we push the wire in there and that will um, form a good bond. Uh, it will melt the solder in the wire um, and it will secure the wire into the connector. So this was the tricky part before. I was so scared of EC5 because you could not get into the into the uh, into the connector but it's really just pre-melting it sticking it in quickly and that forms a solid bond so there I am cleaning the the iron I think we are set here let it cool off and um, solidify and check out this this holder you just press it together and it releases it there it is uh, still a little bit warm and now you can push it in to the EC5 connector. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get a battery. And I'm just going to make sure I have the polarity correct. So you do a test fit. The connector goes in that way. And so I see the red wire is going to go into the orange wire. Orange is, uh, is red at the, in this case and I am going to remember that location it's a flat spot and I notice I disconnect the battery the battery doesn't need to be there it's a risk um, if you're playing with wires that, that you short out the battery so right there give it a good push I can do this by hand but it's still a little bit, bit warm and now I'm going to press it against a a um, solid surface pliers is better I'm using needle nose which is handy and you should hear a distinct and audible click and when that clicks it's locked into place there's no more moving it so do the same for the other wire what's really cool about EC5 is it doesn't need any heat shrink tubing uh, those all fail eventually anyway uh, it's a very it's capable of big gauge wires and it's and it supports a very secure connection between the battery and the holder I see five works but it's not as secure uh, and it, it looks kind of looks kind of funky so test your work uh, as always and you're good to go Hope you enjoyed that. If I could do it, you could do the solder job too. And look how much neater it is. Uh, you could do this for all uh, Arma vehicles.